All right, guys, it is Memorial Day of 2023. Obviously, as you all know, if you started following me at all, last Memorial Day, I was uh, doing the um, replacement of the St. Jude's Valve, which is the uh, first aortic valve that I had put in in 1998. And again, I got it replaced last Memorial Day weekend and the Memorial Day weekend of 2022 with an Onyx valve, which is been somewhat problematic in that there was a 10.2 centimeter pseudoaneurysm that grew on it um, through the spring, which I had just done in March, March 17th. And then, of course, you know, everyone knows that my husband broke his leg, taking me out bike riding last October. So this weekend, we kind of like launched it off by getting the bikes ready again. And we replaced the um, the seats. Basically, this we have these Schwinn I love, you know, I had this Schwinn Red Typhoon from like 1963 that I rode around everywhere when I was in Denver, but I had to leave it because I didn't have any space in the freaking moving truck. And we were so, everything was so crazy about that, that I left so many things that I really regret. But anyway, so we've got these Schwinn um, electric bikes that were way too high when my husband fell off last October. And so now we've gotten the Lower seat posts. Um, this is them, actually. Yes, we have to put our bikes in our living room because we live on the second floor and there's nothing on the first floor that doesn't require you put it down several flights, uh, a flight of stairs to get in a, in a room locked with everybody else. But I'm still have to uh, carry that sucker up myself and that's just not going to happen. But yeah, over the past year, I've gone through obviously a lot of crap. I think the hardest thing that both of us have realized even just this weekend is we are just exhausted. This past year has been completely exhausting. It's been exhausting emotionally, financially, like the socially, like everything that usually people live their lives to enjoy. It's just been really, really tough. You know, I'm very grateful that I had like the expertise available to help me at the time. And obviously I think... I'm grateful every day that I had those surgeons and people ready and available to help me when I really needed them. But I am so tired. I'm just so tired. I really can't even muster enough energy to walk the dog. Really needs it. You can probably hear him woofing in the background. Hi, Duke. Are you going to come say hi? This is the Duke. He is the Duke. He's such a good boy. Anyway, I barely have enough energy to muster to help him out and I'm just I don't know I think I'm obviously thinking of all the things that I wish I had done in my life like why didn't I do those 401ks in my 20s yeah I know I thought I was gonna die at any minute but what if you don't didn't really think of that I was like well I got my bills now I gotta pay for it and now I'm just like now I have to figure something out I have to win the lottery I have to get a YouTube channel that actually says something that people want to listen to. Look at like my little green bunny ears. I gotta figure something out. I'm not gonna be like every child that's like, I'm gonna be a social media star, because as you can clearly see, I don't get a lot of traction with social media. I'm certainly not as social as I was in my 20s. I had great, my 20s were fantastic. I went out all the time, I'd talk to anybody. Anyone, anytime, anywhere. And now I'm just like in my 40s and I don't know how I feel about anybody. I know I need more more socialization, but at the same time, I don't like any of you guys. You're mean. You're uncooperative, and sometimes I just wonder what the hell any of us are doing living amongst each other when everyone wants to be so cruel and uncooperative. But anyway, so yeah, it's been a year. I know a lot of people celebrate these AOR anniversaries like they're really wonderful things but I've got like eight of them so how am I going to celebrate every single day that I've survived another one no this is my 10 year no this is my 20 whatever October 19th 2023 I think that's going to be a total of 28 years that's when I went into surgery my birthday's October 21st so I think I'll celebrate that but probably not much else Anyway, I hope everyone is awesome. Second update in the weekend. You have a great rest of your weekend and I'm probably going to bed.